Good morning, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Today is day three of the Courageous 7 Challenge, C7. I had a much better sleep today. I got about 10 hours and 21 minutes of sleep. So about yesterday's run, I did a 10k run because I have to do 100 kilometers in two weeks. Yeah, I still need to do 90 kilometers to go. This week the goal is to do 50 kilometers. So still got 40 kilometers to run. I don't know why the last few days I haven't been feeling good, like mentally. <sighs> well, it is what it is. Life goes on, we gotta keep on going. We'll start with meditating five minutes and then I'll journal for a bit and then read five pages of the book. Set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes counting down. Alright, so I just finished meditating. I really needed that. I don't know, mentally I'm not feeling the best the last few days. But I have to say consistent and uh, show up. Alright, let's journal for a bit. Alright, so I just finished journaling. I was journaling about why I feel this way and why I'm not feeling the best. I think it's probably because I'm disappointed in myself. The thing is, I truly believe this is my passion and my purpose, right? To create content in the hopes of inspiring and motivating people, provide value, have a positive impact. And still, I procrastinate. I'm not consistent with the content. And uh, yeah. It's hard for me to stay consistent. I do procrastinate, I admit. And I'm not proud of that. I'm truly not proud of that. And if I keep on doing this, like, I won't make it. I won't achieve my goals and dreams that I have. So, Yeah, that's something that I'm dealing with right now. I know I have to work on that. And I will. And I will. One way or another, I will find a way to make it right. Because I truly believe in it. I truly believe this is what... It's, it's weird to say this is what I'm meant to do, but this is something that I truly want to do. And I think this is the right path for me. So, I'm definitely not going to give up. I still believe in it. I still believe in myself. So, I'll keep on going. Because I think if you do that, you're truly living an authentic life. Because I truly believe in it and I'm willing to do it. Uh, I'll, I'm willing to be patient and do it till I die. It's so weird to say. I don't see myself doing anything else than this. I really mean it. So, if you truly believe in something, if you truly believe in the path that you're on right now, I would say just don't give up. Keep on going, keep on pushing. I know it's hard when it takes 
such a long time and it does because otherwise it won't be a worthwhile goal right everybody would do it and if it were easy it won't be worth it you won't get the fulfillment from it so I'll say it's worth it even if the worst case scenario you don't make it you don't achieve your goals and the dream that you have I still think it's worth it because you lived an authentic life you pursue something that you truly believed in and I have respect for people who are courageous enough to follow their own dreams even if they don't make it at the end I still have a lot of respect for those people and I want to be that type of person a person who was courageous enough to believe in himself and to believe in the path that he is on and he just went for it he doesn't care if he makes it or not he just lives his life truly and authentically And that's very inspiring to me, people who who has done it. And I strive to be someone like that. Well <laughs> this is like my video journal sharing my thoughts. Alright. Let's read five pages because I still need to go to the gym. I feel much better now. I think it's very essential to journal, to write down your thoughts, to write it on paper, your, you know, the thoughts. Get it out of your mind, uh, out of your head and then put it on paper. Or just, you know, make a video journal. If you don't like writing, you don't have to share it with others. Make a private video journal. I think it truly helps. I feel much better now. All right. This was true of Franco, who, after being released and successfully developing the school of local therapy, realized he had been the first patient of his own practice. All right. So I just finished reading. Just five pages. Finding your wiki guy. I think it's one of the most important thing you can do is to first define what your wiki guy is, what your purpose is in life. When you have a purpose, you know which direction you have to go. It doesn't, I, I don't think it has to be like 100% clear, but you can have a broad, broader purpose. Because it's, it's very hard to get, find a hundred percent clear goal or your purpose it's hard to define because you know you constantly change you change you grow so your goals might change as well so it's hard to define but like the principle the main purpose can stay the same most of the time like for me for example having a positive impact on people's life I think this will that will never change inspiring and motivating people I truly believe that is my ikigai or my purpose but how I do it might change currently I'm creating content 
it might become writing as well in the future you know writing a book maybe perhaps so those things can change but but the core purpose or core mission in life can stay the same will stay the same you know i think purpose and ikigai can be things that are bigger than yourself more than yourself helping others providing value to others whether it's through entertainment education or just helping physically helping people or doing some small things it doesn't have to be grand can be simple small things helping your uh, local community i don't know just yeah just smiling and spreading positivity can be a purpose one of the reason why the okinawans live much longer much healthier much happier than others is because one of the main thing is that they have an ikigai when you have a purpose it gives you a meaning it's very fulfilling when you follow your purpose Alright, so I'm back home, quickly ate my lunch, and now I'm about to hop on a call with our community. Still got my Nike t-shirt from my workout, didn't really have time, I had to hurry. So, about to hop on this call, and I like to take notes. I always take notes, got my mic for a better audio. Alright, let's go. By the way, if you're interested in joining our community, there's a link in the description below, check it out. We do two calls per week. Good morning, good morning. I hope you're doing well. How was your sleep? I think I had one of the best sleeps till now during the challenge. Got about 7 hours and 43 minutes of sleep. As you can see, I woke up a couple of times apparently at the end of my sleep. But still, I feel good, feel rested. Finally, today I woke up at 5, so I had time to edit for a bit. So I've been editing day 1 to 3 of the challenge. But now, let's do the challenges. Gotta journal, gotta meditate, and gotta read 5 pages. Let's start with meditating, like always. Hey Siri, set a timer for 5 minutes. 5 minutes starting now. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so I just finished meditating. I don't record the full thing because otherwise it will be too long. I just record a few seconds of the B-roll and then I stop recording and do my meditating. So I just finished. The meditation that I do is very simple. I don't think you have to complicate it. I just do a simple one and that is focusing on my breathing. I close my eyes, I focus on my natural breathing. I don't force my breathing and then Eventually your mind wanders off because I'm a human like 
I think about yesterday, what I've done, or the things that I have to do today or tomorrow, things like that. And the practice is you have to bring back your attention, your focus to your breathing again. All right, let's start journaling. Actually, this is also like a journal for me, right? It's video journaling. I'm documenting my life. I'm sharing my thoughts. So that's the beauty of it. Creating content, sharing my journey, documenting my life. Even if you're, even if you're not a content creator, I would highly recommend documenting your life more, taking more pictures, taking more videos, you know, just sharing your thoughts. Even if, even if it's writing things down, journaling, or if you don't like writing, you know, recording yourself. What I do is I just brain dump. Just write everything that I'm thinking right now, get it on paper. All right, just finish journaling. Also wrote down some points about things that I'm grateful for. I'm truly grateful for the opportunity that I have to follow my own dreams. I'm grateful for my parents for giving me this opportunity. I'm grateful for Belgium for giving us this opportunity or me this opportunity. Gratitude journaling. I, I've recently started doing it consistently. I used to do it here and there. Obviously, I've been grateful. I've been thinking about that, how grateful I am to be here. And all the opportunities, uh, all the, even the harder times, I'm grateful that those things happen. Those things made me who I am today. So the good times, the bad times, I'm grateful for both of, both of them. Yeah. I think it's important to take time to be grateful. Even for the little things in life. All right, let's start reading. Five pages. The mission of finding your ikigai your existential fuel. Once you find it, it is only a matter of having the courage and making the effort to stay on the right path. Damn, I really like that one. Let me read this again. The mission of finding your ikigai, your existential fuel. Once you find it, it is only a matter of having the courage and making the effort to stay on the right path. This is exactly what this challenge is about, right? Being courageous, having enough courage to follow your own path, to chase your dreams. All right, so I just finished reading five pages. I think this challenge is very doable for anyone. It doesn't take too long. You can do all the challenges in the morning. Like meditating only takes five minutes. Journaling takes about 10 minutes and uh, reading maybe 15 minutes so in half an hour you can do those three things and then uh, half an hour for exercise and for exercising you can do like simple things right you can just go on a walk outside get in the fresh air get in the sunlight in your eyes it's very healthy or doing some yoga or stretching for half an hour In one hour, you can do all those things. So I think it's very doable. And it's for seven days. It's not like for 50 days, like the Project 50 challenge or the 75 days, 75 hard challenge. For seven days, it's very doable. So I would highly recommend you do this challenge. Like even if you fail, you can always try again the next week. Or even you don't have to wait till the next week. You can just start again from tomorrow. I think th these habits are very important 
for your personal growth. And it's something that doesn't has like a end destination. I think it's same as playing the infinite game because you are building this habit to do it for the rest of your life. So playing the infinite game. The point of the game is to keep playing the game. So building these habits, the goal is to keep doing it. And the thing is, it's also like delayed gratification. You don't see the benefits instantly, but over time, you start to see more and more of the benefits of reading, you know, expanding your knowledge, journaling, uh, learning about yourself, your thoughts more, or working out, you, you see the changes in your body, you feel more healthy, more energy, meditating, you know, being more aware of your thoughts and your emotions. And if you, if you are consistent with all those habits, I think you will live a great life. So yeah. Highly recommend you try this challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Today's pool day. Still gotta do one more set. One more set to do. Four. Five. Six. Seven. All right. That was a good one.